Hello everybody, it's Diane back with her noise and everything else. I'm making a million and one Christmas or winter type inchies, mainly because I had a bunch of inchy backgrounds cut from those Halloween ones that I didn't use. So I just decided to kill myself and make a bunch of inchies. Use it up. What I'm going to do with the inchies, that remains to be seen. I was thinking I could make a bunch of different stuff. As I said in the Halloween inchy video, you know, notebook covers crossed my mind. Little pictures like I did with the Halloween ones. Tags. Christmas cards. I don't know. But I thought, it looks like a Purina ad. They still use that checkerboard? <laughs> Diane, you're dating yourself once again. Oh, there's a surprise. But I really wasn't even going to turn the camera on at all and just make a bunch of inchies and make a bunch of cool stuff and then come back and show you guys. But believe it or not, it's quiet. <laughs> and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've just had a terrible time lately with Every time I try to make a video, there's noise. I have to stop. It is very frustrating. Yeah, we know, Diane. You talked about that in the last video. And in case you weren't catching on, these little cookie images were from this paper. So that's why I went to it right away. And I'm sorry, I keep brushing the camera. All right, let me push it back a bit. Okay, everybody close their eyes. Okay, now you get to see my ugly ink pads and everything, but I won't brush the camera so much. In theory. <laughs> so the ones that are finished, I've got a, a big stack of inchies. But they're all over the place. They have ink, marker, no paint yet. Ribbon, other embellishments, stamping, I did on a few. And most of the main images is scrapbook paper. There were one, two, two that were not. It's cute, but the tree gets a little lost. And I got glue and stuff all over me and a big mess on the counter. Okay, I think I'll do that. Let's just glue. Will I sell any of the finished products? I have no idea. Or try to sell. Let's Let's say it more accurately there, Diane. Accurately. <laughs> How about coherently? And I know by the time you see this video, it'll be November. Kind of scary. <laughs> Diane, have you done any Christmas shopping yet? Nope. Have you really even thought about it? Nope. Well, I take it back. I did buy a couple of things over the summer. I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, I'm, I have a couple things. Well, I was going to grab green, but I think with that green background, that's not the best idea. If I could get this gold one there, maybe that's better. I just threw it in the box and it actually hit it. And I think I'm hitting the camera again. 
You guys must think I have big, like, 80s hair, and I keep brushing the camera with my big hair, right? <laughs> or 90s. Which was that? I've lost track. It was kind of 90s, wasn't it? Early 90s. I never had big hair. I never went in for that. I still don't. Oh, that's not bad like that. All right, I'm going to put that one aside. By the time I trim the borders off, we'll see. This one. Our Purina dog ad for Christmas. It's cute. It's kind of plain. Yeah, I know. What if we raised it a little and then tied a thread around the bottom? Okay. I have thread thread, but I think I want more like a crochet cotton, which is not here. I have as much as I possibly can up on this counter. I had to draw the line somewhere. And in case you're interested, it's evening here at the moment. And it's cold, and it's rainy, and it's supposed to freeze overnight. Isn't that pleasant? Okay, I'm going to tie something on that. Okay, what else do you want to do? I'll just take them in order here. And I'm not going to finish all of these. Like I said, I just thought, since it was quiet, I turned the camera on. I've got a green yarn. That would be a good match, but I'm just too bulky. Oh, I could split it. I kind of like that. Here, let's glue this on. <laughs> you know, every once in a while, I'll be honest, you guys, I kind of lament. I don't have a lot of subscribers. I don't get a lot of comments. And it seems like everybody else that does this kind of stuff does. And it's like, why not? I think I know why. All right, let's see. In theory, you could split it apart. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I have no idea why I don't have a lot of subscribers. You don't want to watch somebody taking yarn apart. Okay. That was tied around. I will warn you too if you make anything like this, but I I don't know if you recall. I'm sure you do. These bases are it's a heavier weight printer paper. I mean it's it's a nice weight, but it's technically not really card stock or like a poster board. So when you tie a thread around or something like this, watch it. I, if you tie it too tight, it actually will cut into the paper. Ask me how I know that. I won't answer, but you can ask. I don't think I have to. Okay, that's kind of cute. Maybe that just needs a little word. Which I must say, these words that I had printed out for other projects are kind of a little large. I had Diane, you're brushing the camera with your big hair. Mary. Kind of fits, kind of doesn't. Problem is with the Y tail down there. Oh, that's not too bad. Needs inking. I had cut this for another one and it just would not fit. Too big. And I hadn't bothered to print any out smaller size yet. It crossed my mind. Do I get points for that? Uh, 
Okay, that's kind of cute. Okay. How much time are we doing here? Ten minutes. Okay, let's do another. We'll do one more. Then I'll sign off and go do something great with all of these. What do you want to do? Well, here, let's pick this one. I did actually have an accessory for this because it was on the paper. This rabbit. Just a minute. Somebody got glue on our counter. Cute. <laughs> I have actually two sheets of that paper. I've used quite a lot of it. They're so cute. I've used them on tags, dominoes, um, card. Yeah, I use them on cards. I don't know if I've ever made inches with them. I haven't made a lot of Christmas inches in my life. I have, but not a lot. I could say I've made a lot now. I could say I probably should have put my glasses on for this. How does that look? Oh, that's not too bad. It's a little crooked. So I had to bring in all my remaining flower pots because I didn't want the ceramic or terracotta type to crack. So yeah, I think summer's over. Really, Diane? You're going to admit to that in November? I guess. Okay, let's do that. And I'm really trying to refrain from saying, and next summer is a 17 year locust because I keep saying, <laughs> I can't. I can't help it. I can't get that out of my mind. It's going to stink. Okay. Okay. That could use a tie or something, too. Pink. What? Pink or white, I would say. Okay. Let me put that here. What other one was I going to put a tie on? Was it this one? Oh, this one. Don't put them by the done pile, Diane, or you'll never remember. Okay, I said that was it, right? <laughs> okay. Well, I have a million more to do. I did not count. It's a lot. Here's the ones, the ones that are done. There's a few drying yet, but the ones that are done, done. There's a lot here already. This is cute. I put a real pom-pom on his hat. That's a copy of an old Christmas sticker as is this and all the rest I think oh no this was uh, wrapping paper and all the rest I believe is scrapbook okay well I'll come back uh, probably in several days and at least let you see finished inches whether I actually do put them into a notebook or on or tags or something I don't know hang on please Okay, well, I don't know your definition of several, but six, does that qualify? This is six days later. I made a lot of stuff. I had a lot of other things going on. I couldn't work on this stuff constantly. <laughs> I'd like to, but I can't. But anyway, I have a lot of stuff here. It's over 50 inches all, you know, together. Let's see, where should we start? Well, we'll just start on the right. So I made a little picture thing, like the Halloween one, if you recall. I'm keeping that. That's cute. This one is smaller than the Halloween. The Halloween had four by four. And I will say, uh, this is more gapping than the other one, which I think is fine. But you may prefer it tighter. This is just cardboard. Don't forget to sign your work. And put the year on it. Okay. Two little plain mini junk journals. Now these two will wind up in my shop. I'm not doing a complete flip through. I'll do that in a separate video. But they each have two inches on the cover. So those are cute. That's pretty. I do like pink for Christmas. Some of you may remember that. 
from previous Christmases. Okay, and then I made three decorated small junk journals. Same thing, I am not going to flip through these here. I'll do it on a separate vid. I imagine the next one. But they each have three on the front. Okay. Then I made several inchy books. It's just a folded piece of scrap of paper is the covers. Glued the inchy to it. It's three papers and I sewed up the seam on my sewing machine. You could staple it. That would be really easy. You could do a three hole stitch, but I ran my sewing machine through it. So they each, as I said, have an inchy on the front. So besides the fact that these are just cute, what do you do with these? I have taken them and just glued the back cover to a journal page and then you can write in there. That's actually kind of cool. And I was thinking as I was making these, wouldn't this be fun, especially for a child? You could, uh, you'd have to, you know, plot it out, but write, you know, dear so-and-so, have a Merry Christmas and a, you know, Happy New Year, love, you know, whoever, as a, you know, in lieu of a card. I thought that would be kind of fun. Okay, those. I made three matchboxes with an inchy on the front. These I'm keeping. Yeah, the journals I'm selling. The other stuff, I guess I'm keeping. You know, I would sell things like this, but you'd have to really, like, sell ten or something. I mean, who's going to spend money on one? And when I sell stuff, I always include tracking, and that's a minimum of about five dollars. So, yeah, five dollars? No. <laughs> so... I'm not selling those. Uh, this one, the white spatters got a little out of control, but actually it's kind of neat. Uh, the insides are plain. I did run a little crochet cotton around in the edge, but otherwise I did not decorate inside. That one's pretty. And then occasionally in my favorites smash book, I have glued in and cheese that I really liked, and I just, you know, wanted to keep them as a collection, so to speak. So these two. Okay. Wasn't a million, but, you know, over 50 inches, that's a lot. <laughs> but actually, it is fun. The only thing that's not fun is I had Christmas, well, I still have Christmas stuff. From the end, you know, all the way over, I have to clean it all up now. So, thanks for watching. Go make some inchies. It's fun. You can make them as simply or as elaborately as you want. Like this one, all the paper is just scrapbook paper. You know, it's a one solid scrapbook paper. And then I added the punch dots and snowflakes. Most of them, I will say, are pieced. But you can do whatever you want. All right, I'll come back in another video and show the journals if you um, are interested in buying or not. You just want to see what they look like. Thanks very much, everybody. Have a good one. P.S. I forgot to show the inchies I didn't use yet. Sorry about that, folks. I just realized that as I was clearing stuff off. So here's the ones that I didn't use yet. I may, I may just put them in my box of inchies and save them for another, you know, season. I don't know. Okay, and I forgot I made two cards. I had them over there. I forgot about them. Okay, this is the clean and simple route. I know some people say it's the boring route. I think they're nice. You could certainly, if you want to make, you know, a rose, you know, make more like something like that on a card, you could do that too. But I think that these are fine. They each have a little coordinated envelope. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all I forgot about. Thanks very much, everybody. Have a good day.